guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about the series finale. It aired a couple of days ago. We've talked about it, talked about it on yesterday's live stream, and also in my series finale review. You can go check that out. It's on the channel. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch that. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about how each character ended the show and the possibilities of them returning to the Arrowverse. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Also, this is a reminder for you guys, I'm not going to be stopping the Supergirl videos anytime soon. Over the next week or so, we're still going to be talking about what happened in the series finale and what it means for the future of the Arrowverse. And also, we'll have some retrospective videos coming up pretty soon. So I have lots of plans, so don't go anywhere if you loved Supergirl and you still love it despite the show not going on anymore. So today's video, I think, is something that everyone wants to talk about. And so that's why I'm making it, because it's definitely something that I've had going over my mind over the last couple of days since the finale. I'm like... Okay, so this is how these characters ended the show. What does this mean for the future of those characters? Will we ever see them again? What's going on? So let's go through them one by one. We're gonna get to Supergirl last. We're gonna hit the other characters first because obviously the big thing that everyone is asking is, is Melissa gonna come back after Supergirl finishes? So let's start with the smaller characters. So Andrea, obviously a Krata, she sometimes showed up, including in the finale in her kind of superhero costume, although she definitely wasn't a superhero. Anyway, she had powers. So is there a potential for her to return in the future? Well, she's still alive, number one, so obviously that means there's a possibility. But because she was such a minor character and she doesn't even own Catco anymore, I'm going to say there's pretty much a 0% chance that she's ever going to show up again. She did set up the School of Journalism in William Day's name. That's how she ended the episode and ended the series as a whole. So I don't think there is much possibility of her returning. Let's talk about Lena. So Lena is obviously one of the main characters. Kara's best friend, obviously she's always going to be around where Kara is. It seems to be the case. She opened up a foundation. I forgot exactly what it was for, but that was her final last couple of moments. Obviously she had that nice chat at the wedding with Kara, but that's pretty much how she ended the series. So. What is the chances that she's going to come back? Well, she's a pretty popular character and Katie McGrath did a great job and she's got a lot of fans. So I would say if there's anything that's going to push her return, it's going to be that fan drive to try and get her back in the Arrowverse. And I think Katie would be open to coming back. And if she were to return, maybe it could be for some magical reason. Maybe there's a magical storyline going on on one of the different shows and maybe that calls for someone like Lena to show up. Or it could be a show where, you know, they need the scientific kind of knowledge and then they call on Lena and that's where Katie shows up again. So I think there is like a 50-50 chance she shows up again. And let's talk about Jean. So Jean is obviously a huge character and he's been around since the start of Supergirl, since episode one. I believe it was episode one. Anyway, right at the start, he is an original team Supergirl member. Obviously at first he was Hank Henshaw and then he was revealed to be Martian Manhunter from Mars and the way he ended this episode was pretty big because they reinstated the DEO and him and Alex are going to be working on that. That is the way that they're going to be going forward after the series ends. So with that in mind, if they ever need some DEO help in any of the shows, remember Supergirl is set on Earth Prime, not Earth 38 anymore, so that means if they ever need any help, kind of like what Digger was doing recently when everyone needed some Argus help, they called on him. So I think there is a high chance that David Harewood returns, also because he's directed multiple episodes of Supergirl and will probably want to direct more in the future. So what happens if he wants to come back to Vancouver and shoot some of the other shows similar to David Ramsey? Also, there was a teaser for a future kid that he has with McGann. So if that character ever shows up, and again, it was just a teaser that's not confirmation by just them name dropping that person. It's possible that maybe if that character does show up, Jean would show up as well. So that's kind of my best guess. I think he's more likely to show up than Lena. I think he is one of the most likely characters in Supergirl to return. Okay, let's move on to Alex Danvers, played by Kyla Lee. Alex is definitely returning because she's going to be showing up in the next few weeks. 
on the flash so she's the one person that we can say yes 100 percent she is coming back after supergirl series finale because supergirl has officially ended but the flash is starting next week obviously the reason for her return is the armageddon crossover event and it's not always going to be a crossover so she's not always going to return but there is definitely a chance that further down the line she returns again considering kyla agreed to this but she also finished the series finale being reinstated into the DEO with John, and I presume both of them are going to lead that together, and that's kind of her future, along with being with Kelly and raising Esme. Let's talk about Kelly. Kelly obviously is the new Guardian, and she definitely could have a potential future. Imagine if they did a spinoff, I think that would be really cool with Kelly. There is a lot of story that she can tell, they just set up by the end of the season this whole big storyline with her being a community protector. And I think it would be a shame to throw away such a cool character and especially her literally just becoming a superhero. I definitely think she'll be back for future crossovers, similar to my next character who I want to talk about, who is Nia now. So Nia, obviously played by Nicole Maines, is one of the most popular characters in the show since she was introduced. She's obviously the first transgender superhero in the Arrowverse, but on TV, period. She's a great character, and loads of people will come to love her, including myself. She even debuted in the comics recently with Nia fighting by herself in National City, taking down criminals. And this was written by Nicole Maines, and it's evidently clear that Nicole is so into the character, and she definitely doesn't want to throw it away, and I think that is one of the biggest kind of upsetting things about Supergirl ending is because this character is so cool and I think she has so much more to offer. It would be a shame if we never saw her again, similar to what is happening to Kelly. So I think Kelly, Alex, Nia and John are very likely to return in the future. Let's move on to our next person, Brainy. So the way that he ended the finale was basically there was this cut scene that wasn't shown in the CW version that aired on Tuesday night. It was shown in the Canadian showcase version where Brainy confessed that he is almost entirely sure, he is literally 100% certain that he's going to be marrying Nia. And so that's his kind of future. He comes back from the future. He doesn't want to become part of the big brain because he realized all of that is basically futile compared to if he's running away from Nia, and running away from his love. And so obviously that's the reason why he's back and he has a future in the present day. And if Nia returns, Brainy will return. That's pretty much how it's going to go. I think Nia is very likely, a bit more likely than Brainy. But if Nia does show up, Brainy's going to show up too. So let's move on to the next person. And that person is Melissa Benoist, Supergirl. Now I'm not going to include Monel and Wim because I don't think they're going to return anytime soon and also same goes for James I think those actors are very busy and have a lot of other things going on in their lives and it doesn't seem like they're going to return because they never stuck around for the whole show so I'm gonna say it's pretty unlikely that they show up ever again unless it was some sort of big Supergirl revival maybe like a spin-off or a big Supergirl crossover where all the characters come back and join in in this huge Arrowverse crossover maybe a couple years down the line I would say that could be a possibility, but apart from that, very unlikely. So let's talk about Supergirl. Now, Melissa has stated in a couple of interviews that obviously she is open to return, but probably it would have to be the right story and it would just have to be the most fitting way considering the way that she ended the series. Now, let's talk about the way that she ended the series. So Supergirl basically revealed via Catco while she was becoming the new Catco editor-in-chief along with Cat Grant in an interview with Cat Grant that she is in fact Supergirl so her secret identity was exposed to the world. Now if Supergirl were continuing on obviously that would be a big question mark because as we've seen with Green Arrow revealing his identity and so many other superheroes in different shows and films that there is always a backlash when that happens. Someone always targets those that the specific superhero cares about and in this case obviously Supergirl and her family. However that's not happening so we're going to interpret this as a happy ending for Supergirl and that nothing is going to happen to her behind the scenes whilst the show is gone. So let's presume that and she's literally going nowhere people speculated that she would be going to the future with Monel that didn't happen Monel went back by himself 
and there is not really a potential for him to come back because he says this might be the last time that I'm ever back in the present day. She's not gone to Argo with her mum and dad like lots of people predicted. In fact, she is staying here. She is the editor-in-chief of Catco and she's going to be balancing her life as Kara and as Supergirl but as one and the same and so I think with this ending and with what Melissa has been talking about I think there is definitely a chance that she returns because she is still Supergirl. She's gone nowhere. She's still on Earth Prime and there's always the option for her to come back. However, unless it's this huge kind of ground shaking event where it's like a big crossover and I think a crossover would be the most likely chance for her to come back whether it be with the Flash or Superman Lois. In the meantime it's been inferred that she's just going to take a step back as a superhero because she isn't actually that much needed in National City specifically so she will be around and she'll help whenever she's absolutely needed but she's going to let the people in National City protect themselves which I think is obviously a bit of a weird choice. Yes some people can help themselves but there's always going to be a threat like Nixley, like Rain, who normal people can't fight because these people are super powered villains and they are nefarious. Like, imagine the people trying to take down Lex Luthor, or even Supergirl trying to take down Lex Luthor. It's always incredibly hard, and the only reason they were able to stop Lex and Nixley was because of the Phantoms, these extraterrestrial beings. So, I think there's always going to be a calling for her to suit up as Supergirl. So, I'm gonna say, in terms of Melissa returning, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I've said this before, I think it will be a couple years if she does return. There's always a chance that she never suits up as Supergirl again and she's done with it. But for now, Melissa is busy. She's focusing on her television deal at Warner Brothers and HBO Max. She's going to be producing shows and making new things. I don't think we're going to see her act for at least a year in any project let alone Supergirl or the Arrowverse. She's definitely going to take some time off, but if she ever feels nostalgic and wants to come back, there is always a chance that she's going to show up somewhere later down the line, similar to Stephen Amell, who hasn't showed up again yet, but he's been posting quite a bit recently about the Arrowverse, and it seems he's becoming somewhat nostalgic for his time as Arrow, and he even went as far as to say if there was ever like a HBO Max miniseries on Arrow, he would return. So I would say let's wait until Melissa gets to this point where she is more open to coming back, and then we'll see if she actually does come back, but in terms of the way that the character ended the show, yes, there's always the option that she can return. But that about does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video and you enjoyed the series finale, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new as we try and reach 110,000 subscribers, we are just about a thousand off so if you spread the word of the channel and get people subscribing whether they are your real life friends or just via your social media, please be sure to share the channel around. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.